learner. I'm, I'm not a technical background, so if you do have technical questions, I'd be happy to address them at the, uh, the end of the presentation, and um, uh, I can get you the proper information uh, as requested. Next slide, please. Next slide. So uh, we are a very early stage exploration project, and we are founded and we are building a company on five investment checkboxes. The first and the most important checkbox is that we have, uh, we believe, and we have proven that we have a best-in-class management team with proven uh, track record for prospect development in Argentina. I'll get in detail on that in a minute. In a minute. We, have, uh, we currently have a 20,000 hectare uh, project in the largest solar in Argentina and located with the, uh, within the uh, lithium triangle and it is the third largest solar in the lithium triangle. Uh, we are in close proximity to rail, water, power and roads. We're in a mining friendly province and we have the potential for high grade brines at our project uh, with future growth through acquisitions. Next slide. Next slide. So when I mentioned that we have a best-in-class management team, um, I start off with our, our chairman, Joseph Grasso. Mr. Grasso has been doing business in Argentina since 1993. He is uh, very well versed in the operations in Argentina, including the ups and downs. He was, uh, he was the Mining Man of the Year in 2005, and most recently was inducted into the Mining Hall of Fame in Argentina for this year in, uh, at PDAC. We believe that uh, we have a best-in-class management uh, team led by Joseph, Joseph Grasso because he has had three significant uh, large-scale precious metals deposits to his name, um, namely the Navidad project, the Guacamayo project, and most recently the uh, Chinchillas project, which is in Golden Arrow Resources, which just signed a uh, joint venture with Silver Standard and will be a mining company by Q3 of 2018. Next slide. Joe's team is also uh, very versed and has worked with Joe since the, since the very beginning in Argentina. Uh, Nico Kakos, our president and CEO, is Joe's uh, left-hand man and has uh, been involved in many of Joe's successes. The uh, most important other gentlemen in this, our, our technical team here, is uh, Dr. David Terry, uh, Nic uh, Mr. Nicholas Galley, and if you go to the next slide, uh, uh, Dr. Daniel Galley, who is our uh, Director of Technical Operations at LIT, and this is, uh, this is an important detail here. Um, he is a Professor of Thermodynamics at the Faculty of Engineering uh, at the University of Hui Hui in Argentina. Um, from 2006 to 2013, he served as the Technical Director at the Rincon Lithium Project and uh, has seen the, uh, seen the project go from exploration to development and ultimately into production. Uh, he focuses on a process that um, minimizes environmental impact but also maximizes recovery of lithium and other chemicals of interest in, uh, in the brines. Next slide. I'm sure we're all fairly familiar with the lithium triangle so I won't touch too much on this. Um, but just to point out that we are, uh, we are located in a, within a country that has most recently become very proactive in attracting new investment. And uh, if, you, if, if uh, all of the new lithium companies in Argentina are any indication, we're, uh, we're in for a good few years. Next slide. So the Salar de Arizaro is uh, located in the Nasalta province. Uh, as mentioned before, it is the largest Salar in Argentina and the third largest in the lithium triangle. Uh, it is hyper arid, so we get less than 30 millimeters of rain per year, which is, uh, which is uh, very good for a brine project. Uh, we're in a strategic location for infrastructure, as mentioned before. Next slide. Um, we are at an altitude of uh, 3,600 meters, and we, uh, are, we are optioned to uh, earn this uh, project 100% um, with our project partners by uh, $6 million in staged payments and $4.2 million in expenditures. We have, uh, we have begun this uh, expenditure process, and I'll explain a little bit more of that in, in detail. Next chart. Uh, as mentioned before, the infrastructure is an important role in this pr in project in particular. It's road accessible, uh, proximity to power, uh, roads, um, uh, railway, and uh, and a water aquifer. 
It's important to note also too is that there, uh, as you see on the uh, on the map there, that there's two uh, precious metals operations in the area. So uh, we're we're not in uh, a wild wild land by any means. Next slide. As mentioned before, if there's any geological questions, I'm happy to uh, as, um, deal with those after the presentation, and I can get you the proper answers. Next slide. So the 2017 exploration program is well underway. Uh, as of February, we had our permits to uh, start exploration work on the grounds. Um, Access Road, as you can see in the, the picture here, uh, an Access Road was needed. It's not very easy to drive on the, uh, on the uh, cellar. Uh, we just recently finished our geochemical survey, uh, which confirms our, uh, our original model. Um, a lot of the, um, the br potential brine is, uh, or, or lithium is uh, at depth. Uh, so we will be planning a uh, three to five hole drill program in the next few months, which will uh, determine uh, where our focus is going to be for our significant drill programs. Next slide. We have uh, a good share structure. It's important to note that um, we have uh, about 70% of our shares out are held within uh, arm's length, uh, including management and directors. Uh, we very much believe in the project, and the Galley family is a significant shareholder as well. Next slide. So just to review, uh, we are very much a people's story. Uh, this is where we are going to uh, have the greatest success is our ability to uh, get the best projects and uh, the respect that uh, Mr. Grasso has in Argentina, and our ability to uh, get our projects across the goal line uh, as proven by our track record. We're in a good location. We have inf infrastructure available. We're in a good jurisdiction, and we have lots of growth through uh, our current project and through acquisition. Thank you very much.